Morning us everyone. I'm Ron Jones and I'm Christy Diaz. New COVID cases are exploding in Georgia right now. In just one week, they are up nearly 225%. 225%. So here's a look at the cases over the past year. You can see our numbers in the past week are looking very familiar or similar to January and the summer of the Delta surge. And this week, we're now averaging more than 8,000 cases a day. Over the past few days, our positivity rate has been near 25%. So that means one in every four tests is a new COVID-19 case. So the CDC wants to see that positivity rate below the orange line at 5% or less. So what's the difference? So what's the different timeline here, folks, is that our vaccination rates are much higher now and this late surge seems to be encouraging more people to get out there and get that booster shot. Now 30% of those fully vaccinated are also got their third shot of protection. With cases of the Omicron variant exploding, it is hard to sift through all the information and know how to best protect yourself and your family. There is a claim some vaccines work better than others at protecting you from this new variant. So I set out to verify. A new claim says most of the world's vaccines provide almost no defense against infection from Omicron. Let's verify what we know. Our sources are the World Health Organization, a few new studies on vaccine effectiveness, 11 Alive medical correspondent Dr. Sujatha Reddy, and Dr. Jane Morgan, executive director of the COVID Task Force for Piedmont Healthcare. Across the board, health experts agree all the vaccines that exist provide some protection against severe disease, no matter the variant. But new information suggests only two vaccine brands provide protection against getting infected with Omicron. So far, the evidence and data that we have seem to show that the Pfizer and Moderna do have the best protection against Omicron. And unfortunately, most of the world has not received Pfizer or Moderna. Across the globe, vaccines from AstraZeneca, Sinovac, or Johnson & Johnson are more widely available. But three new multinational studies, which haven't been peer-reviewed yet, show those vaccines don't do much against Omicron. And that global gap could have a big impact on how the pandemic continues. When one area of the world sneezes, the rest of us are going to feel it. This is a global pandemic with a virus that is spread by air. Dr. Jane Morgan says the vaccines do a better job of protecting from the original strain of the COVID virus. But as the virus changes, our vaccines need to change too. Now we've had Alpha, Beta, Delta, and Omicron. Omicron now is the one that is the furthest removed from that ancestral strain. And what we are seeing is that our vaccines are increasingly less effective and have less durability, meaning they're effective for shorter periods of time. So what does this mean for protecting your family from Omicron? Dr. Morgan says the numbers show getting a Pfizer or Moderna vaccine with a booster is your best bet. We know absolutely that that booster, certainly from the data from Pfizer, takes you from 35% effectiveness against Omicron up to about 75%. And if you mix and match, you seem to get a slightly bigger bump in immune protection against this particular Omicron variant. If there is something else you want us to verify, just send us an email to verify at 11alive.com or text the word verify to 404-885-7600.